just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Wake Forest is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He's tackled at the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's hit immediately. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second, Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Big opening. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. around the 10-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's an opening. He's taken down right around the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's wrapped up for the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. A 
That's a great tackle at the 35. And down he goes at the 33. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. South Carolina is up seven. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. six-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. He's scrambling. Slides down. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Action. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes, right around the two-yard line. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. South Carolina is up a score. Touchdown, Gamecocks. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 66-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 14-0. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And he is drilled at the 40. throws this one away. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. Yeah. 
And now he's got room to run. And he's level at the 36. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. South Carolina's in front by 14. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. the 13 so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield and he's taken down at about the 15 yard line really good play here and run support by the linebacker the big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss they'll call on the field goal unit here Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Wake Forest kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 25. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Second and five. Ball on their own 29. Scramble out. He can't get away from the pressure. That makes it third and one. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's brought down in the open field. Number 15 on the tackle. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 50. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Yeah. 
tackle at the 24-yard line. South Carolina's offense came out of the gate like gangbusters, but they have slowed things down now. I just don't sense the same energy from this team that we saw early in the game when they just came out. They were ready. They were excited. It seems that they kind of let their foot off the accelerator, and now they're opening up for an opportunity for this team to get back into this game and maybe take the lead. Got it. And he goes down quickly. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 28. The Gamecocks saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And he tackles him hard at the 28. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 49. It's first and ten, ball on the 49. Concentration to haul it in. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Receiver and it falls incomplete. He looked like he just sort of aimed that one. Yeah, he didn't look very natural throwing the football there, and the result was an underthrow. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's under some heat. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. run up the gut and this is the tenth play of the drive and he makes it out to about the 17 yard line a couple maybe three yards on that run from the 17 yard line it's second down converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 21-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up, and that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. 
What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From the 32-yard line, first down. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Scrambling around. He's at the 20. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Kill, kill. First down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball of the 14. He laterals the ball. Makes it to the five. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And it's good. He gets it up. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff most likely to end the half. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 29. We've played a half of football here. The Gamecocks in front by 15. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Hey, Mr. Defensive Lineman, let me tell you hey, what... Mr. Announcer Guy. Let me tell you what <laughs> happened in that first half there, Coach. Hat on a hat, hands on the inside, those big offensive linemen dancing on a light bulb, chop, 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 <laughs> moving guys out of the way, and they're just running amok through these defenses. Yeah, I don't think the uh, defensive line coach is very happy right now. You can get a fire off the ball a little bit lower, get some penetration, create some negative yard plays. Right now, it's just big box car, little box car. I, I, I'm lining up, I'm going to run the football. You're not man enough to stop me. That's the challenge here in the second half. Can you stop the running game? Because right now they're just gashing you left and right. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. The 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Got some open field. Gets out to around the 35. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Man left, man left. That'll bring up second and three. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That'll make it third and one. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets rid of it quickly. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. That brings him second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. zone here third and goal from the nine he's in for the score and they're back in it tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy when a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page Good things tend to happen. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Wake Forest ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. South Carolina up by eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 23. is out to the tailback on the screen. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. This one is a beauty. He makes it to the 32-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
He's tackled right around the 30. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He's to the 40, and down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. Complete, he's got room, and he's taken down at the 35. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll get him for a loss. Make the stop at the 33. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Brought down around the 30-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. to his receiver. And a huge touchdown play. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. They need to tie it up here, and that's exactly why they're going for two. Seven-play, 69-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 21-19. They'll bring him down at the 30. Demon Deacons on this have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. South Carolina holds just a two-point lead. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. made around the 47 yard line that's three down and one to go South Carolina's leading by two back in this very pivotal fourth quarter He makes the catch and has a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Off play action. Now he's on the move. They'll bring him down at the 37. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 24 yard line. 
from the 24 yard line. It's first down. South Carolina is up two. Tackled for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Knocked out of bounds around the 16 yard line. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line. Good call to go with the option here on third down. It confused the defense just enough to allow him to pick up the first. This is the ninth play of this drive. He gets to about the five. So it's second down and about two yards to go. seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Heading for the corner. And he's level at the one. A one-yard gain by the halfback. This is the 13th play of this drive. Wake Forest is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just over two minutes in the game. having quite a game three rushing touchdowns now until they can figure out how to slow him down it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game here's the extra point that'll make it a two score game and he hits the pat they line up to kick this one away He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it seven and six. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. coming. Fires it out. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. A little over a minute in the game. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he tackles him hard at the 12-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 14. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Gamecocks get the victory, 28-19. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.